Hello, this is R-S-E-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm here to show you how to transfer everything from your old phone to your new Galaxy Note 20. And this works for the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. It actually works for any modern day Samsung phone. We're gonna be primarily using Samsung Smart Switch, but you can also use Google as well to kind of fill in the gaps. So first we just set up our phone to our Wi-Fi, and now from here, I'm gonna to go to next and we're going to bring things from our old device. So it's gonna start by updating Smart Switch and what you wanna do is actually get Smart Switch on your old phone. So if you have an old Samsung phone, it probably has it built in if you just search it into the settings. So just type in Smart and you should see it come up right away. However, if not, then just go to the Google Play Store and type in Samsung Smart Switch or just Smart Switch and you'll get it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we're gonna choose an old Android or Galaxy. And you can do it wirelessly or through cable. I recommend cable, it's just gonna be quicker overall. So we're gonna go ahead and choose cable. Now, if you have a Type-C to Type-C, that will work. If not, Samsung, you can request an adapter from them, but you can also back up through micro SD card. If you wanna see a separate video on that, please let me know in the comment section. But this is just the quickest way is either through wireless or through USB direct. So let's go ahead and connect to. And allow. You also have to allow if you are coming from an iPhone as well. And again, this will work. It'll take everything from your old device again to your new one. And this will scan your device. You can decide what you want to bring over in terms of everything. So you can decide if you want to bring all your calls over, your messages, your apps, everything you want to bring over. And you don't have to do your SD card, obviously, if you're going to bring your SD card and just move it over to it. But say if you got the 512 gig of storage, your phone will run quicker without a micro SD card. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything and then move on to the next step. All right, now that I have selected everything, I am going to click transfer. One word of wisdom though, if you do have a lot of text messages, you can actually choose how far you want to go back. So maybe you wanna go back only the last two years or the last year even. This is actually the thing that takes the longest, so just keep that in mind. If you don't necessarily need to keep all your text messages, then you can get rid of them. All right, then from there, everything is going to start moving over and you can just use your fingerprint or your pen. So I'm just gonna be doing that. Hopefully I get it from this angle. There you go. And then you will start moving over all of your account. And now that I've signed into all of my Gmails, it is now coming up. So again, this will take a while. It can tell you that, hey, if you want, we can continue on. I recommend staying on this screen longer and make sure you also tap the keep screen on so it doesn't slow it down. Once you're at this part, again, just kind of let it go through its course, but the longer you can stay on without actually starting the phone, the quicker this is. So just always keep that in mind. It goes quicker when you actually haven't started the phone altogether. I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting everything up and then we'll show you the results at the end. And then you are gonna want to sign into your Samsung account. This is a good way to always make sure things like text messages and find my phone is set up, but also one really big hidden feature that you're gonna find out about in our top 10 hidden features video is going to allow you to text message 4K videos. So you have to have a Samsung account to do that. So make sure to sign up for one if you don't have one or sign it. Okay, and now you can see the transfer has been complete. Everything did move over to the new phone and all the folders are the same. So I really like that as well. So just like everything you need is just all set up exactly the same way, which is really convenient. 
uh, all your text messages, your phone calls, everything has been moved over, even your Wi-Fi connections, even all of your alarms, if you're like me and need a billion alarms for different things. So everything has now been set for me. It took about just under 30 minutes, about uh, 11 minutes to transfer over everything. Then I could disconnect the cable and then about 15 minutes to unzip everything. So it was already on the device, but it just needed to be unpacked, download all the apps, which I have over a hundred apps. So obviously it takes time and it does vary depending on the person, but just to let you know about how long it takes. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.